hi uh welcome back to my channel uh i have got lots and lots of new stock to share with you today um so i am just going to sort it out because i think there's about three different lots to show um some i got from a charity shop and then two different car boot sales so i'm going to split it up and then i will pop back and show you everything all right so i've moved everything over uh, and around. Um, I have got four bags of stuff from the Thursday car boot sale, so I will start with those. Uh, right. So we have got some jars. These are Price and Kensington uh, sugar tea and a coffee one. Uh, there you go, those three. So I got those and a matching set of three of the mugs as well. So they've obviously been, you know, a bit scratched, but a bit of pink stuff should get all that off. Um, so that should be okay. And they seem to do okay, I think, in, in little pairs. So I might sell them as a set or individually as spares I'm not quite sure yet but all of that cost three pounds so not really that bad I have got a pair of vintage pillowcases um, I bought a few things from this seller and I don't know whether she just chucked these ones in for free or whether they were 50p either way they were very cheap uh, where's the label? I can't see a label. Oh no, there's a tiny label. That doesn't really tell me anything. But, you know, not bad. And then from the same person, oh, that's from another time. Put that down there. From the same person, I got this huge knitted um, throw blanket bedspread um it smells quite vintage so it'll need a good wash um but it's very colorful i think it was two pounds which is a bargain for something so big and then this was also from the same person which is like a quilted um throw or bedspread with like a val is it a valance the frilly bit with the frilly bit i think it's a single or might be a double actually um, but that was a pound so that's quite nice uh, yeah. <laughs> okay and then check that empty one down so, so a few, oh, that was from the same people as well which is a little wooden well it's not little it's huge it's a huge wooden peg um, has a hole on so you can hang it but it looked quite old. I know they did like new ones, but I feel like that one had some age to it. It was 20p. So here, these are like 1950s little trinket shelves. Little metal ones with the sort of atomic ends. That was a pound. And then it all folds up flat. So that would be nice and easy to post. Um, and then from one seller, I bought these bits. So this is like a little, I'm assuming you put a plant pot in it or something, or a bowl maybe, or an ashtray. I don't know. Maybe an ashtray. It's a little bit melted in places, um, but it's cute. Uh, and then, I think it was 50p. And then this one, which I think they're bell pulls. It's like embroidered and then brass at the bottom and the top. Um, and I think oh, it's been a while since Thursday. It's nearly a week. And I can't remember how much everything cost. I think it was either 50p or pound. Probably 50p. And then from the same guy, he has some boxes of glasses 
you were selling for a pound a box. Oh no, they're bowls. They're bowls. So there's a set of six of these sort of dessert bowls. They're uh, Dema. Dema? Dema. Um, Saxon dessert dish, it says. And then these ones are Hamlet dessert dishes. And they're the same brand. They're very similar. Just a slightly different shape. So there's six. Six of those in there. Um, there is a little money tin, um, which I think, yes, has got its key as well. Um, that was 50p. This was from the same seller as the blankets. Um, I think it was 50p, but it's in really good condition. It looks barely worn. It's a tootle. Um, it's a lovely colour. So we'll see about that one. Uh, bags. Got West German plant pot. That was two pound fifty. They normally do all right on Etsy. Uh, there's a flower fairies sort of vinyl uh, tote bag. It's um, Ulster Weavers. So I think it says 1996 inside. Oh, I think it tells you the fairies as well, but it's kind of cut off. Um, it was a pound, so. I figured I'd give it a go. Um, in here are some tea towels. These were 50p each. So this is a Christmas one. Nice linen. Oh no, cotton. <laughs> cotton Christmas one. Which doesn't look like it's ever been used. So that's nice. And then this one which is really cool. <laughs> That's another cotton one, I think. Yeah. It's just a fun design, that one. And then the same guy I got this tablecloth from, which was a pound. And hopefully it's not too stained. <laughs> there you go. It's a nice embroidered one. I think it's got a few light marks. I might put it in with some stain remover and see if that helps. That's just what happens, isn't it, to tablecloths? Never mind. Uh, okay, and then the last bit, so including, oh no, not quite the last bit, it's nearly the last bit. From this store, this car boot sale, um, was a bundle of those LOL dolls. So, a little dog one. I've already been through them all and sorted them out and found all their accessories. My sister helped me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've already sold the display. It came with like one of those stepped um, display boxes. So that one went on eBay straight away and sold very quickly. So that has gone. Um, and there are 27 dolls in there with accessories. Um, I paid £20 for the lot, including the display. The display case has already sold for £13.30, so well on my way to making profit. So that's nice. And not something that I've really ever bought before. I bought one of the display cases before, but I thought for £20, for that many dolls, it's worth the shot. And then the last bits I got, they came with the lampshades. I don't really want the lampshades. A pair. Oh, very heavy of these sort of onyx lamps Got that in the but they're really unusual ones with the carving so I've not seen any before like that so they've got a little bit of where you know there are the, the odd chip um, that's the other one 
so I won't sell them with the shade, I'll take the shade off. Um, and then I will get them, that one needs a new plug, I will get them pat tested. I have a lady that comes around uh, when I've got enough lamps and then she tests them all in one go. So I can list them and make sure they're all nice and safe. Um, but yeah, really unusual. They were £4 for the two, which is crazy. The Onyx lamps always sell really well on Etsy. I have a specific lamp shop, um, so I put them all on there. Um, and they do well. Sorry, I say um a lot. Um, uh, I'm going to put these away and then I'm going to get the next batch out and show you. <laughs> so uh, the next batch is from the Sunday car boot sale. It said it was going to rain so it was not very big and there was not very much and a lot of the normal house clearance trader stalls were not there today, today on Sunday. So I got a few bits so I will show you. I got a Burwood uh, corkscrew for a pound, a West German plastic sugar bowl with the spoon, that was a pound as well from the same seller, um, I think it says Emsa, Emla, something like that. They won't be worth very much but never mind. Uh, we've got a set of three Um, TG Green Tea Coffee um, They're all wrapped up in plastic bags and sugar So I've got a couple of these on already which haven't sold but it's nice to have the matching set rather than just the odd one so hopefully that will be okay um, These over here are wooden ceiling lamps. Uh, they have got the glass shades, which are in there. So they would go on like this. And I paid £8 for the two. Uh, this one is in really good condition. This one has got some damage to here, which I didn't notice until I got home. But, and I think it's a bit split here, but I think once they're on the ceiling, you're not really going to see that with a shade on, so hopefully they won't mind. And then the only other bits I got were these two lampshades. These are IKEA, they are embroidered with a pair. They don't seem to be as common as you can get those sort of folk ones with the birds and the flowers. Um, they're not as common as those. They cost me two pounds for the two from the same person who had the lamps. So hopefully I can get about 20 or so each for them, which would be nice. So that was the extent of Sunday's car boot sale, which is pants. But never mind. I've got charity shop stuff next. Ready? Um, I missed a mirror from the car boot sale. Oof. This one. It's got sort of a nice carved sort of frame. Uh, and it can go both ways. It was £2, which is why I bought it. I think I'll probably put it on Facebook because I don't really fancy packing it to post it. So I think that will, or just local collection. Or both, probably. Um, okay, so the next lot are from the charity shops, which was a lot more fruitful than Sunday. I think we went on Friday, I think. I went with my sister. No. Ooh, this is a mixture. This is a mixture of Friday and also when we went to drop off some stuff to donate and actually then just bought loads of stuff. So, <laughs> right. We have got a bamboo wine rack, which seems in pretty good condition. That one was five pounds. This is really nice. This is a lampshade, sort of a bamboo, sort of 
little wickery with a fabricy bit. Very sort of seventies. That was five pounds. Um, so from the same shop, I got an onyx lamp with a shade, which looks okay. So maybe I will sell the shade. Separately, it's a little bit. Uh, maybe not. It's a bit split at the top, but the lamp itself should do all right. It was eight pounds. It is already tested, so that's the way I like it. Then you don't have to do anything, and you can list it straight away. And they normally get about sixty to seventy on my Etsy lamp shop. Again, from the same shop is a 90s or 80s, 80s, 90s um, moon shaped lamp. It was six pounds. I don't think it's ever been used, it's still in its packaging inside. Um, no idea on what I mean. I tried to look it up, nothing. So <laughs> that will be a guess, that one. And then the last bits from the same shop are a vintage bus stop game which is very cute nice design not really worth a huge deal about a tenner it was two pounds but it's nice and then this which i've never heard of spike ball i had to google it in the shop it was five pounds but it should sell for about 35 ish so so then the other day when we went charity shopping, it did get quite a lot, which makes a change. Sometimes you go and you get nothing. So this is a TG Green, um, like steamed Christmas pudding, I suppose, Christmas pudding dish, which is cute. It does have a bit of, I don't know if it's a bit of damage. But it's very nice. It was 99p. I got six of the Delia collection books. Um, these were three for a pound. So they cost me two pounds for all six. So that's quite nice. They've obviously been used a bit, but I will give them a quick wipe. But they're in very good condition otherwise. Uh, this is a vintage, sort of 90s-ish Winnie the Pooh duvet cover and pillow. Um, it was £5, but hopefully I can get maybe 20 for it. I'm not sure. 15 to 20. This is Sahara. It was four pound fifty, and it's a jacket, um, which is very nice. And they seem to be quite expensive, so I have high hopes for it. Hopefully, sort of fifty, sixty would be lovely. This one I took a little pun on. It is a bag of. Um, vintage doilies and things, um, placemat type things. So, and there is a small tablecloth in there. So, I think I will bundle them all together. It costs three pound fifty, um, and we'll see. I just thought I'd have a go. It's not something I normally buy, but you can quite often find these in the boxes at the car boot itself for pretty much nothing. So, if I can make bundles of them and sell them and that would be really good. This is a Jovo construction from Galt. It was $3.99, which is quite a lot really. I can't remember, I did Google how much they went for. 
and I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure I had some as a kid. Um, and they look quite fun. And then we've got a marble solitaire deck, which again was 3 99 um, And it's probably not really worth a massive amount. Maybe like 18 It's nice though. Hopefully it's got enough marbles. I don't know how many marbles it should have. Okay, so next box. These are really nice and I wish they fitted me. These are toast. Whoa. Toast. A wide leg, dark green trousers. Uh, but they are a size 10. They were £5.49, but they should go for quite a bit. Hopefully 60 70 for those, which would be lovely. I uh, don't often find toast, so when I do, it's nice. Uh, these were from all the same shop. These are St. Michael vintage sort of corduroy mum jean type things. Uh, they are quite small. They say size 12, but they're not really, it's probably more like an 8 to 10 nowadays. Uh, in the 90s. These are the same. Yeah. Size 12, Marks and Spencers, St. Michael. So it's got the dark blue jean. I can't even remember it's been so long. Oh, mugs. This is a set of Next uh, stacking mugs. They were 2 95 which for the shop I got them from was quite cheap actually because they are quite pricey in there. Um, and I think they're probably worth about 18 or so, 20. And then the last bits are a brass planter for £2.50. They do quite well on Etsy. And then a big bag of Thomas the Tank Engine Tomy stuff. 1992 it says. There are planes and tunnels and things. There's a lot in there and it was only 4 99 so I figured it was worth a go. I hate things that you have to sort out and count the parts. They tend to stick around in the shed for a very long time, but hopefully I'll actually do something with it. <laughs> but 4 99 is fine. Um, and that's it. That is the haul. Um, and it's a long one. It's a big one. So that's really good. I have got to somehow fit this in the rest of the shed now. So, yeah, wish me luck. And thanks for watching. And I will be back again soon with another haul.